see more is the yield means you are getting more returns so if yield is more then that is better investment so investment is what your market value now dear students in these two which is greater 9.18 the one with more yield will give you more income so that is a better investment suppose if they don't give this after deducting the tax i would have taken 6 as income now i cannot take 6 as income now my net income is decreased because tax is deducted 6 and half percent stock at 84 gives you more yield therefore that is a better investment welcome to the session dear students today we'll go ahead with the problems of shares and stocks see one of the important chapter where we discuss simple questions in the last session now we'll go ahead with more problems and more types so now three or four mark questions which is better investment 8% stock at 110 or 9% stock at 98 See in these two, which is better investment is the question. See more is the yield, means you are getting more returns. So if yield is more, then that is better investment. So to decide which is better investment, first calculate yield in percentage. Once you get yield in percentage, the one with more yield is better investment. So all of you know formula for yield. What is yield, dear students? yield is what amount invested income divided by investment income divided by investment is yield investment and if you want yield percentage so income by investment into 100 if you do you'll get yield in percentage so now for these two which will give you more yield will be the better investment first we'll take 8.8% stock at so first case 8% stock at what 110 so for that let me calculate yield so yield is equal to yield is equal to what income divided by investment investment means market value we say we assume that we are uh, playing in face value only because they have not given market uh, they have given investment market value income by investment into 100 if you do you'll get yield in percentage so now that is yield for first case is yield is equal to income income is what 8% stock will give you 8 rupees for 100 rupees 8% is what 8 so 8 is the income by investment what is the investment you are investing rupees 110 8 divided by 110 into 100 00 cancels 80 by 11 so now 80 by 11 i am converting it into decimal so use calculator and get the answer we'll get 80 by 11 sevens a point 2 7 it goes on you can round it up here 8.27 percent yield for first case we got yield for 8 percent stock at 110 now you find yield for 9 percent stock at 98 so first case yield i got so case 2 what is case 2 second case they gave that is 9 percent stock at 98 9 percent stock at 98 so for this yield you calculate again yield is equal to yield is equal to what is yield income divided by market value or investment amount invested income by investment into 100 gives you yield in percentage so income is 9% stock will give you 9 rupees income for your investment 98 rupees you are stock at 98 means this is your investment into what 100 that is 90 divided by so now 9% stock at 98 yield you calculate what is yield income by investment into 100 what is income 9% they told so 9 rupees you will get and you are investing how much 98 9 by 98 into 100 if you do you will get yield in percentage 
Now, 900 divided by 98, 98, uh, 98 into 9 is 0.18 if you round off. This is the income. Yield. So, yield you got for second case. What is the yield you got? 9.18 percent. For first case also you got yield. What is the first case yield? 7.27 percent. So, now which is more? Which is more? 9.18 is more than 7.27. So, I will write both the cases. 8.8 percent stock at 110 gives yield. What is the yield? Percentage 7.27 percent and 9 percent stock at lesser than face value that is 98 gives more yield 9.18 percent. So now dear students in these two which is greater 9.18 the one with more yield will give you more income so that is a better investment therefore 9% stock at rupees 98 is better investment which is better investment the one with more yield is better investment in these two cases the better investment is for the second case and second case is giving you an yield of what 9.1 percent 18 percent so without calculating yield you cannot decide so i hope all of you got it so first you should calculate yield in percentage how to calculate yield in percentage yield is equal to what income by investment into 100 so income means dividend what they are giving you 3 percent stock means income is 3 8 percent stock means income is 8 and at what rate you are taking is your investment at what rate you are taking is your investment here 8 percent means this is your income and at 110 means this is your investment or we can also call this investment as market value so we'll purchase always stocks or share with market value that is our investment so nine percent stock means this is your income at 98 means this is your investment so now my question to you 10 percent suppose if i tell 10 percent stock 10 percent stock at 120 means what income is 10 and investment is 120 and investment is also called as what market value I hope all of you understood this so now we'll go to the next problem 6 1 by 2 percent stock at 84 or 4 percent stock at 102 again which is better investment so they gave two which is better investment heading is same which is better investment so out of these two which is better investment so now we have to decide 6 1 by 2 percent stock or this so first we will calculate case 1 so all of you what is yield 1 so all of you know yield is equal to income income divided by investment amount invested or investment into what 100 this is the formula we use for first case, we will separately calculate yield and for second case, we will separately calculate yield and the one with more yield will be better investment. So, now first I will take 6 1 by 2 percent stock at 84. So, now yield will calculate. What is yield? Yield is equal to 6 income. What is the income? 6 1 by 2. 6 2 is 12. 12 plus 1 13. 13 by 2 divided by I am converting it into fraction see mix, uh, mixed fraction they give 6 2 is 12 12 plus 1 13 by 2 6 1 by 2 can be written as 13 by 2 this is your income by investment you are investing 84 rupees and if I want yield in percentage I should multiply 100 so now 13 divided by 2 into 84 into 100 2 1 is 2 50 is and again 2 4 is 8 and uh, 2 2 is a 2 25 is a simplify this so further simplify they give 84 substitute and simplify so we'll get 7.37 you can use calculator to do this so that you will not do any error 
so we'll get yield for 6 1 by 2 percent stock at 84 how much we got we got 7 point sorry 7 point you'll get 7.3 7.73 percent you got so now we'll go to the next case 4 percent stock at 102 so now calculate yield for what 4 percent stock at 102 4 percent stock at 102 4 percent stock at 102 so again calculate yield yield is equal to what income by investment income by investment into 100 income is 4 investment is 102 into what 100 simplify this 2 2 is a 2 5 is a 2 1 is a 200 divided by 51 now divide this you will get 3.92 percent 3.92 percent so now 4 percent stock at 102 how to calculate yield yield is income by investment into 100 income means whatever they gave so 4 percent means income is 4 rupees and stock uh, at 102 means this is your investment into 100 you will get percentage 3.92 percent now compare so if a 6 1 by 2 stock gives you 7.73 6 1 by 2 percent stock at what is the rate 84 gives yield what is the yield for that you got her yields 7.73 percent and the next case 4 percent stock at 102 gives an yield of what is the yield we will get 3.92 percent so dear students observe which is more giving you which is which stock gives you more yield so this 6 1 by 2 percent therefore what is the conclusion 6 and half percent stock at 84 gives you more yield therefore that is a better investment so we conclude so therefore 6 1 by 2 percent stock at 84 is better investment this is a better investment than what better investment than 4 percent stock at 102 i hope all of you understood this how to decide which is better investment the one with more yield is better investment how to calculate yield yield is always income by investment is yield and if you want yield in percentage multiply 100 what is yield income by investment income means whatever the dividend the company is giving you and investment means market value with what rate you are purchasing if you want yield in percentage multiply 100 so we got yield for two cases for six and a half percent stock at 84 gives you yield 7.73 percent using the formula we calculated and four point stock uh, four percent stock at 102 gives you yield 3.92 percent again using the formula we got and comparatively out of these two the first one is giving you more yield therefore six and a half percent stock at 84 is a better investment and also common sense here market value is less than 100 rupees face value here market value is more than 100 and also income this percentage is also varying though it is, it is giving more percent also comparatively so like that also you can decide but always to decide the major criteria is what calculating the yield calculate yield the one with more yield is better investment so you are getting more returns percentage of returns what you are getting will be more when yield is more so I hope all of you got this now we will go to the next question what is the market value of 6% stock if it earns an interest of 4.5% after deducting income tax 4% see first you should read the question and write what is given what is the market value of 6% stock so 6% stock means 6% stock gives you income 6 so they gave income what is the income income six percent stock so income is six it earns an interest of 4.5 percent six percent is also given it earns an income of 4.5 percent after deducting the tax means after the tax it is giving you 4.5 percent interest means that is your yield overall income whatever you are getting is called as yield yield is how much it is giving you 4.5 percent this is yield percent they gave after deducting an income tax see now dear students i would have taken income directly six 
if there is no tax but they added after deducting tax so income is 6 but net income differs now so now income they gave but this is not the net income so therefore now it gets added so now in spite of the word income so we will calculate so net income so now net income we need to net income is equal to income minus tax so in the original income you should remove tax so what is the income 6 minus and tax deducted is tax percentage is 4 percent so tax is 4 percent means 4 by 100 of this your income so your income if they don't give see if this is not there suppose if they don't mention tax is deducted then income would have become 6 but because they have removed tax from it your income decreases so therefore net income is income minus tax and income is 6 rupees in the tax is what 4 percent 4 percent of your original income so 4 percent of what 6 6 minus 4 percent of 6 4 ones are 4 2 is a 8 50 4 25 is a and further this can be written as 25 means 0 0.5 if I put it will become 60 to uh, 10 4 0 0.24 25 answer so 6 minus 0 0.24 4 percent of tax so now means the indirectly is a tax is 4 percent of your income 4 by 100 of 6 that will give you 0 0.24 directly you can do so that is for in 6 if you remove point it will become 5.8 5.8 minus 4 5.76 so dear students your net income is 5.76 it is not 6 if they don't give tax is deducted after deducting the tax suppose if they don't give this after deducting the tax i would have taken 6 as income now i cannot take 6 as income now my net income is decreased because tax is deducted so income is 6 but net income is different what is net income 5.76 when you want to yield is calculated on your net income so what is yield so yield in this case because tax is deducted we say net income if there is no tax then we would have said income so now net income is different so net income divided by investment investment is what market value whatever your amount you are investing is what market value so i'll say market value income they give yield they give in percentage into 100 so now yield they give what is yield 4.5 percent 4.5 and net income net income just now you got 5.76 divided by market in amount invested amount invested is called as market value so actually in last case we took yield means income divided by investment investment into 100 do you agree into what 100 this is the formula we took but in spite of the word in investment i'm taking market value Inve see whatever is the market value that you should pay in take the shares or stocks so investment is what your market value so in spite of investment i'm writing market value net income is 5.76 and market value we don't know we need to find so this is amount invested or market value as unknown into 100 now our task is to rearrange and get x bring x to this side it will become 5.76 divided by 4.5 into 100 so now we need to simplify this 576 divided by 4.5 so divide this you will get 128 so therefore investment that is your market value or market value value of stock is rupees 128 simple again we use the same formula called yield what is yield income by investment into 100 so income it became net income because in this case tax has deducted if they don't give tax then just we'll write income so earlier income is 6 but after deducting the tax the income become 5.76 so net income is 5.76 amount whatever you are investing we call it as market value that we don't know so calculate that amount invested or x that x is called as amount invested or other name for it is what market value so we got the answer i hope all of you understood this
नेक्स्ट इफ ए पर्सन विशेस टू ओपटेन एटीन परसेंट ईल्ड ही वॉन्ट्स एटीन परसेंट ईल्ड फ्रॉम हिज इन्वेस्टमेंट वॉट प्राइज शुड ई बई द थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव पर्सेंट स्टाक सो वॉट प्राइज ई शुड बई मीन्स वॉट इज हिज इन्वेस्टमेंट और वॉट प्राइज ई शुड बई मीन्स वॉट इज द मार्केट वैल्यू दे आर आस्किंग यू सो फर्स्ट सोल्यूशन स्टार्ट विथ राइट वॉट इज गिवन what is given student if a person wishes to buy 18% yield so yield percentage they give yield they is in percentage 18% this is given and he want to invest what should be his investment so investment is question mark investment is also called as what market value and what price he should buy what is his investment and 13.5% means income is 13.5 Thirteen point five percent stock gives you thirteen point five as income for every hundred rupees. So now use the formula. What is the formula? Yield is equal to income by investment. Investment is also called as market value or the rate at which he buys the shares or stocks. So now yield is eighteen percent. So LHS is eighteen. Income income is thirteen point five. And investment. What is the investment? We don't know. That is x and into hundred. So rearrange and get x. So if I rearrange, x is equal to bring x to the set. X into eighteen or eighteen x is equal to thirteen point five into hundred becomes thirteen point five into hundred. Now x is equal to One three five zero divided by eighteen. So now simplify this. If you divide it, you'll get seventy five exactly. So therefore, market value of stock is rupees seventy five. Or we say the same thing as what investment should be. Investment is. Rupees seventy five. Or we say, what rate he should buy? They told. Therefore, he should buy the stock at rupees seventy five. At rupees seventy five. If he purchases the stock at rupees seventy five, he will get the yield required. Whatever he is expecting, that yield is possible. So I hope all of you got this. So now. We have done problems based on yield. What is yield? Income by investment into hundred. If you want yield in percentage into hundred, and yield is calculated by comparing your income, whatever you are getting, what company is giving you, divided by how much amount you invested. Generally, whatever amount you are investing is called as your market value. So, whatever the market value, you have to invest according to market value. So, investment by amount invested, sorry, income by amount invested into hundred. But we had a special case in this. So, when tax is deducted, your net income will be different. So, that's why net income by net in total investment into hundred. Net income comes into picture when tax is given. See, in one of the problem, they told four percent tax from your income, remove four percent. Then you will get net income. So net income by investment into hundred. We should use that formula when tax is given. I hope all of you understood. So more is the yield, more will be the better is the investment. So the stock which gives you more yield is the stock which you can choose or which you can opt for investment. I hope all of you understood this. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.